All right, so you've been using Stable Diffusion and you wanna test out some new models so you can try out some different styles of art. But maybe you have no idea where to start or what resources are available to you. I'm gonna step you through this, make it real easy so you can get this going with Invoke AI. Let's jump in. Now by default, Stable Diffusion comes with a pretty wide variety of image types that it can generate, but sometimes you wanna do something specialized and it just doesn't come out right with the default models that are built in. So you can go to a place like Hugging Face or Civit AI and you can download specialized models. Say for example, you wanted to create some anime characters. Well, having an actual model that's trained on just anime is gonna make your results much, much better. So in this case, we're going to a site called Civit AI. I'm gonna show you how to download some of these models and get them installed over in Invoke AI. And first there are a couple points we should touch on. One is that models will be typically called either a checkpoint or a safe tensor file. Checkpoints are sort of the older style models and safe tensors are new. And as the name sort of implies with the word safe in it, these are typically better to use because it's harder to inject malicious code into them. So when given the choice, you're always gonna wanna use a safe tensor. They also tend to load significantly faster than older checkpoint files as well. Now Civit AI has a ton of different options as you can see, and they're all categorized. Anime, characters, women, celebrities, you name it, you can probably find it here. Sometimes I just like to go to this main page. It shows all the models and they're listed by their rating. Realistic Vision is one that I've used on my own stable diffusion systems for quite some time and it produces some really spectacular results. So let's go ahead and take a look at that one. Really simply, after you click on the model, you're gonna see this download button over here on the right hand side. And you can see this as it's a pruned safe tensor file, which is exactly what we want. Now, each of these models is about two to three gigabytes in size typically. So expect that when you're downloading these files, I'm going to go ahead and click on this one and get it downloading. Now, in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Hugging Face and I'm going to show you a second site that you can browse for different models on. Hugging Face is slightly less user friendly than Civit AI. As you saw, that was pretty simple to just jump in and download something. Here, not quite so much, but there is this fantastic searchability. So one of the popular models that almost everyone has asked me about is Open Journey. So we're just gonna start typing Open Journey, and you can see that their search results come back based on models, data sets, spaces, organizations, etc. What we're looking for is models. And in this case, I know that Prompt Hero makes it and it's called Open Journey version four. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that result in the list. And this is where things get a little bit off the rails and a little bit confusing. So as you scroll down this page, you can see a bunch of examples that have been generated by Open Journey. And you can see up here, model card files and versions. You're gonna wanna go over to files and version. And then you're dropped right into another non-intuitive interface that just shows the files and the versions. And this is similar to something you'd see on a place like GitHub. Hugging Face is essentially GitHub, but for AI models. And so you're gonna see in this list, Open Journey v4 checkpoint. Now this is a checkpoint file, not a safe tensor file, but that's okay. We can still use it. And you can tell that it's the right one by looking at the size. Again, it's about two gigabytes. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this file and then comes up with this other screen. Now, if you look right here, this file sort of the Git LFS, it's too big to display, but you can still download it. And that's the hyperlink that you actually wanna click on. So you click on that and it just jumped up here to my download section. Now that's downloading. So that's how you can use both of these sites to start the download process. What about actually getting these into your software in any usable state? If you're using Windows, you're gonna jump on over to your downloads directory and you'll see that we have these two large checkpoint files. So we have Open Journey checkpoint and then Realistic Vision, we have the Safe Tensors file. So I'm gonna go ahead and select both of those. I'm just gonna right click and click Cut. Now what we need to do is go on over to wherever we installed Invoke AI. So in my case, it was in my C drive, Invoke AI, and then we're gonna look for the models directory. Go ahead and double click on that. And anywhere in here, you can go ahead and paste those two files. So we're gonna go ahead and right click, paste. And that's gonna copy over the Open Journey checkpoint and the Realistic Vision safe tensor files. Now from here, everything we do, we can do in the UI directly in Invoke. So let's fire that up. All right, once you're in Invoke AI, you can come over here and right next to the dropdown that has your currently selected model, you can see this model manager icon. Go ahead and click on that and you're just gonna select add new. Write in a checkpoint or safe tensor model, so click on that instead of diffusers and then you're gonna give it a path or directory here. So the easiest thing to do is go back to this open window that you have in your file system 
and you're just going to right click on models in the address bar and click copy address. Go ahead and minimize that window again, come back here, right click and paste, and you're going to see it's going to go ahead and copy the path in here, invoke AI models, and it's on our C drive. So once that's done, you just click on this little icon here that says find models. And you can see we have open journey V4 and realistic vision that both pop up in the list. So now all we have to do is check both of those and click on add selected. It's going to take just a moment. We can go ahead and X out of this. And now in our big list of models that are loaded in Invoke AI, you can see that we have the active model, which is stably diffused wild. Now we can see realistic vision version 20 and open journey V4. Now, if I wanted to use open journey, for example, you just click on the load button. What this is going to do is it's going to load this in your GPU memory, and that's going to allow you to generate new images based on that model. Now, depending on the speed of your computer, you have to realize this is loading a couple gigabytes of data, so it could take a minute. Once that's done, exit on out. Now you should be able to double check that the model selected is Open Journey V4 in the dropdown. And then from there, you can just simply click on Invoke and it should generate an image. We'll see what comes back here. That actually looks pretty awesome, it's pretty photorealistic. Realistic detailed chocolate sprinkled donuts on a white plate. Not quite a white plate, but you know, you get the gist of it. Now, if we wanted to check out realistic vision, we could come up here to our drop down, select realistic vision. Yeah, and that's going to take just a moment for that to load up. We can verify that the model changed right up here, and we can go ahead and click invoke again so we can generate yet another image using this new model. That's actually pretty amazing. That's our chocolate donuts on a white plate, just like we asked for. I love this model. It's a really good general purpose model if that's what you're looking for. And that's all you have to do to get some really amazing art out of Invoke AI. As always, I'm Brian Lovett. This is All Your Tech AI. Be sure to check out this video if you'd like to learn some more awesome stuff about artificial intelligence and stable diffusion.